different this year. Because oh, I've, I've gotten a little flack in the past that the show's not about me. It's about a lot of other things, me very least of all. So, to start the show, let me bring out the members of the board and the chairs of the con. And we're going to do some fun stuff here. Introduction. I am Scott. I am the treasurer of the board of directors of Pegasi Northwest. We have Cole. He is our secretary of the board. We have not mentioned here Kyle, who's the president. And we have our two wonderful chairs, Forever Free Northwest 2024. I just need to express some things off the top of my head and from the bottom of my heart. This show is not possible without the help of many, many people dedicating a lot of time and effort, not just here at Con, but throughout the year. Um, we are a 100% volunteer organization. We thank you guys for supporting us. Uh, if you see any staff throughout the weekend, uh, make sure to say thank you. Um, they put in a ton of effort to make the show what it is. But remember, we are not perfect. We are people too. We're going to make mistakes, but we're going to roll with the punches and try to put on the best show we possibly can for all of you. And to that effect, running a show like this is a lot like herding cats. <laughs> Wild cats. Um, so, yes. It's not a dusty cat, though. <laughs> So we're, I'm going to try a little exercise. I've been told I need to delegate more uh, and, and make sure we spread the load as evenly as possible. So I'm going to try to give some instructions to the team here, and they're going to try to do their best to follow those instructions. All right? So we're going to do a little uh, Simon Says kind of deal. Okay, first of all, I want you to take one step at a time, left, right, left, right, forward. <laughs> But just follow my instructions as best you can. Good, good catch, though. Okay. One, two, three, four. Steps forward. Left, right, left, right. One. Two. All of you. Three. Four. Okay, do the same thing in reverse. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, now hold your arms out to the side. Now hold them down just a little bit. Little circles. Okay, do the same thing. One. Two, three, four, back, one, two, three, four. I think they're catching on. Okay, now do a little bump with it. One, two, bump more, three, four, okay, and back, one, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to play some hot cross buns. You're going to do your arms like this as you do that. Ruth Alice specifically asked if there would be dancing involved, and you told him no. I lied. Okay, now hot cross in place. Arms cross. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Now put your hands up in the air, waving like you don't care. One, two, three, four. Now, now do kind of the YMCA bit, but side to side. One, two, three, it's four. It's fun Awesome. Now do it all together. First bit. Gorilla walk. One, two, three, four. And back. One, two, three, four. Hot cross buns. One, two, three, four. Wave in the air. One, two, three. Okay. That was a good attempt. I, I think, though, we could use some professional help. AJ, can I get some help? Oh, my God. Yeah! Okay, we have some professional help all the way from Toronto's Bridal Way. AJ Bridal. And I think we're going to need a little music for this because, you know, we have a professional involved that can really show us how this is done. So, can we cue the music? I promised them I wouldn't make 
make them dance. But I just did it. <laughs> we'll be back. Thank you. All right. So thank you for entertaining me. Um, thank you for all your help throughout the year. Thank you to the rest of the staff for helping put on this wonderful show. Thank the AV crew. They've done a tremendous job in a short amount of time. Get out of your way, and we're gonna turn this thing over to the mascots and get this show started right. So, we'll get this show going. Where's the mascots? Come on out.
up here next. Hey, Eric, holy crap, there's so many of you. That's crazy. From back there, I thought there was going to be like 14 people. This is great. Happy to be here, everybody. I'm Tony. Uh, I love you guys. Uh, we'll, see, we'll hang out this weekend. Someone named Andy Price backstage. Fantastic 
round of applause. I want to hear the room shake for all of our beautiful VIPs. Thank you all so much for being here. You will see them all around the con. You will see them in the vendor hall. You will see them at panels. You will see them in autographs. Come say hi. He's usually 
nonstop? Yes. I don't do coffee. And Scott, what are you in charge of? Everything else. <laughs> the hotel. He takes care of the hotel stuff. That's the effects that everything is. And then? I I'm trying to cut down. <laughs> and then of course we have our lovely chairs. We're also included on the exit. dozen people uh, represent the other 150 amazing staffers who are helping this place run. So just like Scott said earlier, please uh, be mindful that the staff are doing their best for us. They're here to help. Give them a thank you. Give them a high five. Um, we're going to have a great con together. Thanks to them. Thanks to all of you. So we look for smaller, reputable, local nonprofits, generally um, having to do with support for children in need. So we are really excited this year to partner with our new charity partner, Backpack Brigade. Yes. Backpack Brigade is a local 501c3 organization, uh, and the problem they are out to solve is weekend hunger. So what this is, is um, less fortunate children in public schools around the region sometimes have trouble with food security. Maybe the only meal that they know they're going to see each week are the school lunches that they receive when they go to school. But during weekends and school breaks, sometimes that food security isn't there. So Backpack Brigade does an amazing job uh, raising funds to purchase high quality nutritious meals for children to help fill in that gap. 
over the weekend. So they're going to be out here, especially on Sunday when you come down to our charity auction. The information is there on your screen. Uh, and they're going to tell you more about it. We're super excited to be partnering with them as our new charity partner this year. And uh, yeah, be sure you are at the auction on Sunday. Right? Woo! as well as this slide for as long as it's up to see when you can drop off items. Uh, all that information will be available in the comic book on the screen and our info desk is always a great place for that information as well. Alright guys, thank you so much and we'll see you at the auction, alright? Hey you guys, I just got back from the con store and I got some gifts for my friends. Would you like to see them? Yeah. Alright, well I, I first got this uh, new con store t-shirt for myself. Designed by, I believe, Justice Sudo. We also have various lanyards at the con store. I found these amazing plushies for my friends. So, as some of you know, we kickstarted a plushie um, crowdfunded plushies this year to bring our first three mascot plushies back for the first time in several years. So we're so excited to have those at the con store. We also have, I need more hands, Ruth Alice, can you help me? Okay. We have been building coins over the last years. Um, we started with Front Page and Marina. Last year we introduced Mocha Sunrise and this year we have a coin with our two children mascots, Novella and Sharpie and an amazing box that you can buy to display them in as well. So you can buy the whole box set if you haven't gotten any yet, or you can purchase the new one and get the box and have your complete set. That deserves a ooh. Ah. We have a tube. I wonder if there's anything inside. Oh, what's in the tube? What's in the tube? You didn't think that was gonna be a challenge, huh? We have con store posters that we're gonna maybe be able to get out of the tube, but the thing is, you can get the tubes at con store so you can travel home safely with your posters. They're very well packaged. And we also have some nifty totes that you can buy to purchase, or to hold all of your goodies from the con store and from the vendor hall. We additionally have a fanny pack, a classic. Yeah. Appropriate era, appropriate. And a couple other vintage bags that you could check out from other I have a here. question. Why aren't fanny packs worn on the fanny? <laughs> Access. <laughs> a classic. Our lovely hat. I think it's over here. Also still have those Everfree branded Sharpies. We've got the Sharpie. That one down there as well says Everfree Northwest and it's green. So you can get those at the con store. And finally, Ruth Alice and I have already been modeling these, but we still have our Everfree branded socks. Uh, Two colors. Pick your favorite. I don't know if we're putting one of these in auction, but I have just made Tubi. He's got a smiley <laughs> face and everything, and I think Tubi is a really great mascot pet. Meet my new pet, Tubi. Yeah. Pretty sure Tubi is from the um, Lastly, uh, we also have some limited edition sticker sheets that we created for our Kickstarter. There are some extra at the con store, but I have a feeling they're gonna sell out, so check those out. If you did kick, uh, if you did fund, uh, support our Kickstarter, uh, you can pick up your plushies at the con store. We do even have a separate line for you if you're only picking up, not purchasing anything else. You can skip that purchase line and get in line just for your plushie pickup. So they have that really efficient for you guys. Um, Please, please, please get those sooner rather than later because um, the con store is overflowing with merchandise. So if they can move out those plushies that people have already purchased, that would be so, so helpful. So thank you guys. I think that's all the con store stuff. So who can we bring up next to tell you about some of the fun things happening at Everfree? Spiral. Let's see, Spiral gifts to the stage. Our events director, yay! 
first off, I just want to bring attention, like our website has the con book, con map, and area map. Be sure to download them all. I'm sure some of you have already experienced, you know, the reception's not necessarily the greatest, the Wi-Fi might not work. Get them on your phone, then you'll always have the information you need. And like, just make sure you can download them, please. <laughs> we have also a couple other changes you may have noticed if you've already looked at our schedule, but we have new panel room names. So the side panel rooms now are the front page room, Mocha Sunrise Room, and the Marina Room. Woo! Also, writing has been changed to Novella's writing room. She finally gets some love. And don't always, always remember, we have a mobile-friendly schedule at everfreenw.com forward slash events. It's always up to date, so if anything changes, it will be seen there. Well, except for a couple cancellations, but you'll hear about that, I'm sure. And uh, again, on there, we have an agenda tab, which is really useful because it has a search function, so you can find both panelists and panels. So for those of you who are fans of Taylor, you can find all eight of his panels. <laughs> Just type his name in, and then you can click on the Add to My Schedule button, and you can add it to your own personalized schedule, and you can download a PDF of that as well to keep track of what you want to do. Also, while the entire con is family friendly, I just want to bring attention to the fact that fools and families should keep an eye out for the flower icons highlighting events specifically designed with kids in mind. There's also like corn dogs in the con book, I think, but uh, corn dogs. That's a few to figure out. Yeah! So speaking of panels, though, we do have a Making Friends is Magic panel in the front page room right after opening ceremonies, and again tomorrow morning at 9:45 a.m. Like I heard earlier, there's a couple of new people here, so it's a great place to go to meet some new people and maybe make a friend or two. I also want to bring some attention to the Crystal Bright House and Bridalwood rooms, which are on the third floor of the Cascade Tower. There's no through traffic in the writing room, so make sure you go up the elevators over there. Please and thank you. The Crystal Bright House is going to have the cosplay contest pre-judging in it, and it'll also have two limited entry, first come, first serve crafting events. We'll have leather working with Kleisch cosplay, and we're going to have making shadow boxes of Marina with Cosmic Keyframe. We have a couple little more active events in Bridalwood, including Pinkie Pie's Paris Bright Roundup after this, a Buckball Tournament, a Cutie Mark Crusaders Clubhouse Meetup, and a Waifu Toss Championship. <laughs> Speaking of championships, we have some contests this weekend. First up, we've got the cosplay contest tomorrow for you to either show off your outfit or see all the cool ones that everyone's prepared. We have, you can test your writing skills with Iron Author tomorrow. We're giving you a unique set of prompt elements and you need to write the best MLP story you can in just two hours. For fans of the MLP collectible card game, we have Nailander and Sealed tournaments tonight and are once again hosting the North American Continental Championships. In addition to the tournaments, it's the 10 year anniversary of the MLP CCG. So we're going to have some learn to play demos with prizes and anyone can print off whatever cards they want to use thanks to print and play, which makes it easier than ever to join. If you like fighting games, we have a Dims Fight Hurts tournament tomorrow and a Smash Bros Ultimate tournament on Sunday. We also, in the tabletop room, will have a Prance Limited Slap-In tournament once again, again, in the tabletop gaming room. It's tomorrow night and I quote, they have fantabulous prizes. Lastly, for contests, we have a couple PMV entries for our PMV contest, which you'll be able to show off on Sunday. As is tradition, we do sadly have a couple of changes that are made to the con book, so like, since it, we have to print it early, so you know, it happens. So first off, Ticket to Ride is no longer going to happen in the tabletop room, sadly. The Renegade stage will be closed on Sunday, and thus Meet the Musicians has been moved to Bridalwood. Speaking of musicians, however, let's bring up Luck Rock and uh, talk a little bit about them. Alright, let's bring the energy back to this room. Who is ready for some live music this weekend? That's what I like to hear. We have two fantastic nights of live music coming to Everfree Northwest. Uh, that starts tonight at 7 p.m. We are kicking off with the traditional Pony Stock concert. This is your sort of traditional, like, uh, uh, like the big compilation concert you go to like rock, think rock on the range or like um, uh, De Bonnaroo or something like that. That's what we're doing tonight. We've got all our bands for the most part. We've got some new things coming after that. I'm real excited about it. And then tomorrow at 7 we're kicking things off with their traditional Grand Galloping Gala. Uh, this is an especially family friendly targeted event. Uh, you are not required to dress up nice for it, but it is encouraged or to come in cosplay. It makes it a lot of fun. 
And then after the gala, at about 9 p.m., we will kick things off with our after party, which is your chance to get all of your energy that you still have. Get it out, get it out there, have some fun. Um, and would you guys like to meet some of the musicians? All right, I'm just gonna bring them up here real quick so that they can say hi. So musicians, come on up. Some people you can look forward to. We've got Canto Acrylic with Threat. We've got the hometown Forever Free Grammy. And the hometown Scratch Cat making their debut. We've got Rarity. We've got Koa and General Mumble. We've got the Wonder Bowls. We've got Vinyl Tastic. Forest Rain, everybody. John Kenza. Evershade. And finally, Flo. The itinerary says musicians smile and wave. And then the next bullet point is bye-bye musicians. So, we'll see you 7 to 9, 7 tomorrow. Can't wait for it. Thank you, Lebron. Musicians, Spiral. I have one more note for you for a moment here. Not bad, but close. Uh, I wanted to let you know that on Saturday afternoon, Immediately following the cosplay contest, we will have a photo booth out front uh, in this area just out front. Um, you each get a free photo associated with your badge. So if you're in cosplay or you're dressed up for Gala, you're coming to Gala, swing by the photo booth. It's going to be open 2 to 9 on Saturday. So give that a shot. Get a nice photo. Um, thank you very much. And now, let me invite onto the stage Tiggs. He's going to tell us more about our guests. I'm going to introduce our community guests. They are fantastic. Some have been here before, some are brand new. So let's make sure we give everybody a nice welcome. In no particular order, we're going to have everybody come on out. Our community guests. Thank you. 
believe how much information we got through in a pretty short amount of time. So we have a huge action-packed weekend for you guys. Um, just a couple closing remarks and then we're going to send you on your way to go find something fun to do. Um, we have our hashtag, which um, Bravery the Brony, our PR director, alluded to. So please use that hashtag EFNW2024 and share your memories with us, share your photos, your videos. Um, we'll be retweeting them. We want to share the fun with the people who couldn't be here in person. Um, and then we're going to do a selfie with everyone. Go for it, mascots. <laughs>